Hiya, in this video I'm not going to do a tutorial, it's just going to like do a quick review of a crochet kit that I got. Um, this was quite a while ago now, I think it was 3 dollars from Audi. Um, I already made it and everything, so I couldn't show you before and after. After I'd made it and everything, I thought, oh, should have done a video for this already. So I don't have the box to it. Um, but basically you get everything you, you need to make Timon and Pumbaa. And you don't really need to be like a excellent crochet or anything. I, I still class myself as a newbie, even though I've been doing it for quite a while now. I've only been doing literally basic stitches. This is the first time I've actually tried to make like a, a little plush toy or anything. And follow a pattern as well. I've never been able to follow patterns. But um so yeah, so you'll see what how well I did later. Um so you get given everything including a little crochet hook which is actually just a little plastic one that's actually quite bendy. Um I did actually use this. I have my own crochet hooks. Don't think I have one quite this size though. So I usually use a four millimetre or three and a half millimetre one. And uh, yeah, I think this is just a tad smaller than that. Um, but I used it, it was bendy, um, but it got the job done. Uh, you get given a plastic like sewing needle when you need to like sew in the ends and things. That was actually rubbish. I did actually end up switching to a proper like metal ne needle. But you get everything that you need, like the, like I say, the crochet hooks, the stuffing to stuff the things with. And you get all the yarns and everything, and this is just a couple of the balls that are actually left over. So you actually get given more than enough to create your your, your piece. So they give you this in it, which is the instructions. It tells you exactly what the stitches are. So if you don't know the stitches, they actually give you a little diagram. And then each part, like the head and body, all in separate sections. Obviously, if you have to make them separately, that'd be the, the one thing. And then, so you know what to actually make. And it tells you what row you're on and what you need to be in each row and how many stitches you should have at the end of that row. And there was actually a mistake in this plan. When you get to the body of Pumba, the maths do not add up. <laughs> It says you like decrease, but the amount you decrease doesn't actually match. Oh no, wait, the stitches. Yeah, it says increase when you actually do have to decrease, otherwise you won't get the um, right amount of stitches in it. So there's two lines there where it says increase, but you have to decrease. But if you um, match up what you're doing with the amount of stitches you're meant to have at the end of it, each row, then you're then uh, you shouldn't really go wrong because I picked that one up straight away. Like I say, this is the first one of me actually following a pattern. So that's that. And then if you want to see what they look like, the first one I made, uh, which was in the first lockdown actually, so quite a while ago now, um, was to moon. So for my first actual crochet plush, Dude, I think he came out okay. He's obviously not perfect. The eyes are a bit wonky. The only thing I didn't like is actually the colour of his hair. I think it should be more of an orange. But they didn't give you that colour. So I might actually unhook that and actually just go and buy some and replace it. But yeah, so I made his little arms, his little ears. So again, not perfect, but for my first try, I'm actually really happy with this. And then I made Pumba. So him, I actually I just made the head and he just looked like a chocolate easter egg. And then I left him for a while and then I went back to him and then finished him off. I think the tail I'd done him slightly different from what was said because it was just too fiddly. <laughs> I got to the point where I was like, nope, just want to finish it. So I'd done that slightly different. I think the hardest things was probably to moan because his little skinny arms and everything. And legs and his tail. It's just when you're crocheting like that small, it's kind of hard to hold on to anything to actually keep it sturdy, but yeah. So I'm quite happy with these. And like I said, I give you plenty left over, so you guys should probably make maybe another to moan, but even if they don't give you enough, you've always got the um, instructions, the pattern. 
so you can just buy more yarn and just make more of them if like friends and family want them or maybe try and make them in different colours make a funky coloured one <laughs> so yeah I hope you like this video uh, like I said I wish I'd done it from the beginning and showed you exactly before and after what you get in the kit but if I try another one I'll definitely do that so thanks for watching see you in my next video bye